Okay, here's the MLP Classic Reality Time book again. I'm really gonna start with me doing a gun punching reference parody thing, but I'm too embarrassed to be on camera at the start of this. So, whatever, let's get on with Boat Buster, written by Chris Covino. I keep forgetting to take on the show for two episodes. Um, <laughs> um, well, you're doing a better thing at the moment. <laughs> uh, um, okay. Oh, hope make could be quick, could be long, but it's not up because I don't want to talk about it for very long. Go, look, hopefully, make it quick. Go. In the cup code, a unicorn named Tricky comes to town and basically show, basically a show pony showing off on trick and being very, very, very both about, which they don't like at all. After she shows them up, she, you know, and basically because of the Twilight afraid to show off her talent because she thinks she'll be both more well. But she might have to use her talent after all in order to stop it against the rest of me later, Connie. You know who? The cup code is kind of tankly, it's making popular at the same time. It, the general audience, it became popular purely for Tricky, but for reason to get people like that, it became fairly infinite due to certain things. That kind of weird. I think it's more like people scratch come on a Tricky that they didn't really care about the other problem. I feel like if Tricky wasn't entertaining if she was, I don't know what she would appear in, and it kind of would be popular. And, um, I guess I will start off by saying, yeah, I do like tricking. In this particular album, because she just go over the top and just go delightful of how fun she is. I quite like her. She's just entertaining in Magic Duel and, you know, and I think I'm, I got character to a little mix and come airing, especially lately. But I go, you know, quick way to do fan shout and kind of thing like Crunchy Girl. I think she works very well and she's pretty entertaining, especially in the go quite, quite go. I do love how far she goes at some point to go. Now, after Snip from Sale, they are divisive, but to be honest, I've never actually hated them that much because but I'll kind of like them they don't do much harm and they kind of make bag. They come time for funny, you know, come time for not. Like, when that code each go, I like pudding for no particular reason. I did not think the show really needed a stupid character to be. I remember I was watching the show and I went, of course, we're an idiot. <laughs> Yeah, you know, like, if you're a male pony, you're the only one that Big Mac, like, got prominent role, got to the point, oh, cork, we're stupid. <laughs> yeah. More time we're entertaining, so... Yeah, yeah, um... The cool part where, I believe it, now, who... Tur turning me down Canadian, go... Got an A, and I'm like, I know Canadian show, but you don't have to be that blatant about it. <laughs> oh, my time too much about them. I don't know. You know, the big problem people can have is with the behavior of the rest of the main character at the beginning because, you know, with Tricky, minute Tricky pop up, they automatically just pick around and go both full of dumb acting. Well, yeah, that kind of was supposed to be supposed to be showing up, and they really like bitch at her and say, oh, you're both full out, like you, yada, 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 and, you know, and they get shown up because of it and such. Especially Rainbow Dash. I'm not defending Rainbow Dash in this one. I do. If they ever get leaked up, but Rainbow Dash and Duggan, she basically act like, oh, it's okay, when I'm both full and whatever, but Tricky Duggan is bad. The other get leaked aren't quite, aren't too both full. I feel like they aren't. They aren't. That's it. And again, I have probably Rainbow Dash early in the community, and this is like the first example of that. Go, every one or weaker appearance. <laughs> Not a great thing to follow to any point later with in terms of the vlog, but you know. Um, yeah, go. And the part she likes, they're gonna make a lot of sense because she makes that weird rainbow thing. You know, I don't even get it. But yeah, and with the epic code, yeah, I find it got kind of average. It kind of makes good. I want debatable, but there are some problems in the story that kind of. I don't think it got bad because people make it out to be because people act like main kick are absolutely horrible throughout the entire thing. And tricking you don't get to go of anything, she gets and blah blah. But when you really look at it, as the story goes on, there is more reckoning. It's like, you know, tricking for time is pretty bad, but once the team goes on, it's like tricky does start acting pretty bad. Like, might she, like, rarely, she can go, I don't want to get involved in this. And she, big air egg rarely on in culture, which is not good form. And I feel like tricking the girl, actually, tricking should have gotten more of punishment than she got. You know, she, like, she gets scared by the. Um, minor and run away, and that's it. That's like more good. Pick a punch up, take them down, bad to be, you know, technically speaking, fair complete. And they fought, she was, you know, 
it's telling the truth, but anytime I'm going out again, I'm recommending her to go danger. Like, we should have gotten more than just mustache. fashion. I don't even get it. I mean, I mean, they don't even, like, acknowledge, they, they act like what we did, bad they acknowledge the fact that they're going to like, look into it then. Go, why give a mustache? We should go random. I like the mustache joke in general. I think that kind of a new thing. Like, like he, got, he asked for a Fu Manchu mustache. By that name, come tell me it's not racially attacked because they were gay in a little girl show, but that's like, that's really scary. But, you know, that's from being a moment. Yeah, smoking comes from the truth. You better occasionally have a good one, like when we're to get the color green and red, and then at one point go, well, <laughs> like, uh, I found that funny. Um, hmm. Go, yeah. Huh. But, but anyway, more tricky talk actually showing off in a bad way, but they have a reason to complain. But we can't tell them what we do at the start really isn't any better, and I, the main problem is that, in a way, it's contrived. I like the whole concept of Twilight being afraid to show off her talent because she fears she may be both of them. Because she, you know, you know, because she, she, because she, because she, she can tell everyone who took off talent get kind of crap being both of them. And in the end, she learned, hey, I, you can't show off your talent long enough both of them about it, you know? And that moral that kind of carried the point because I kind of like that concept, but at the same time, it is contrived because they make them act work when then they might just to add to why I feel bad. And why I should really like the Pombo card being both for when we're showing off the talent because trying to show them off in a very both way. I mean, again, Troy Tricky is definitely king of the good person here because, you know, she is showing people off one thing, but doing it the way she's done is very cool. That's a cruel way of showing off that quite I probably wish I kicked her out right then and there, like that. Gotta be illegal in some way. You know? Being arrogant and bad, kids. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't kill the internet, but going up that. Back kill the internet thing, you know? For kids, nothing worth an arrogant piece of shit kid, let me tell you. Go. Ugh. But, yeah, trying to go for narrative, the cap is kind of mixed, because I like what Kanka to go for, and drinking for me fun, but at the same time, they have a character at work when they, when they might usually just to give Twilight a dilemma and just to move the plot along. After the scene in which she drove them up, everything totally fine on its own. Once you put the earlier part in, it becomes kind of mechy and weird. You know, well meaning in a way, and the characters aren't well worked. I've seen them at work. And on top of that, they had to have a weakening, at least. You know, it's more of a narrative problem than a character problem, because it's more like the character can't have an abstract character problem, but again. Um, go, yeah, I don't think they think are that quite bad for people like to be, and the character don't have to act reprehensible and be okay, or get a rope because I think. It's interesting how they actually have to go back to the discussion later, Meriwell, and it, they still screw it up for some people. <laughs> yeah, um, go. It can change around too, because a couple things one up better, and a couple things that one up better in a way. I mean, all I know is pretty much catch a couple better up, code. and if I ever do that one, I might have to explain it, but I feel like. She's not too bad there, for the most part. Um, no, yeah, not the great debut for Crick, you know. It does that go damn after a lot better, but I can see why we kind of dropped after that. That and he had other projects. He actually worked on Kit Patelki, which started roughly around the time, so he probably focused on that. He was director on that show, that's probably why he left the show. Again, ding on there, because a pretty critical for a I'm kind of a and he yeah, wrote some Fosha Cup, so I'm fine, not mistaken. So, um, mm hmm. So, yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, back off really at the K. I feel like when we got Kong, I am a bit tongue, because I do feel like narratively a bit contrived and some parts are weird. But at the same time, it got well meaning, haggling moments, and, uh, tricking off and go. It can app with this code. It, yeah. Again, it's not meh, but it's not quite. Decent to pack what you like, almost there, but not quite. And the first time I'm going to hear you that four thing. That, yeah, DVD, watch off DVD at time. Yeah, to the point we have going to have been pretty fine. I mean, Ticketmaster kind of flawed, but I can kind of look that quite slightly. But like the first, not so good one. And then another one to two up to later with, uh, okay. By the way, speaking of this, do you have a problem here? King and one. Well, I'll go coloring problem here. I'll go that dark art. <laughs> but 
Ha ha. Fuck no. Again, watch out of the on my Gudan Boy channel. Um, eh, neat. Dick Dylan here, too. Um, <laughs> but yeah, big bag on Epica, but, uh, yeah, you get started the tricky thing and gave up a bear replica of that magic duel and that recent one. So I'm okay for the good thing because I've seen more from the show but puck early on and both of the bad from King One I can like, slide because hey, they are early on. They didn't get everything right the first time. Go ahead Phil Fuster, one of the most controversial yet popular episode. Primarily because one character who admittedly is still entertaining. And I drew it because she's going to top and both going yada yada. Not that people can but not particularly good either. I think back about it. Go, so I guess we can move on. It's just weird. Usually, usually I can't a lot more. But this one, I just want to get over with because I don't really. Uh, the problem is, I don't care about enough, like, for the cake of a burn or for example. I don't care enough to go for this. But anyway, let us move forward and pick out the next number 80. Kevin. If I end up picking one, I've already done what I was trying to well, that's not the case, because next up in trade ya, oh, yay, that one, go, I get everyone to talk about, go, at this point, the only thing we have covered is free, again, the women number up could be why, but I hope they talk to me, because they got you, that would die, but now, okay, I thought, maybe we didn't know we didn't. Yeah, okay, we didn't, go, I shall see you next week for trading, and, yeah, yeah, and this guy for, um, well, get, um, uh, time, we are changing, and any vlog I could do in the meantime. Actually, finally, my own idea for another vlog game, I don't know what to do, that's not of a current show, but that something I'll figure out in due time. Go, goodbye. It's a crappy Fallout Boy version here. <laughs> hey, didn't make you a drug movie, go, Patron, yet.